So now tell us what this is all about, will you? I'll try. 50 years. It's my honor this morning to be here for this memorable occasion and this noteworthy award given to Pastor Ron Domina. On a personal note, my association with him began over 50 years ago when we were students together at Zion Bible Institute and some good friends. And then since then, our paths have gone in different directions. The Lord has given us various types of ministries, but I've always tried to keep abreast of what they have been doing. And it's amazing to see what God has done in them and through them. This church is an evidence of that. Well, even though they were 50 years graduating the school, in 1965, they went directly into ministry, and Ron, with the aid of his dear wife, Karen, went to Massachusetts first, and then to Connecticut, and then to the state of New York. And then in 1980, they received a call to come to this church, Bethel Christian Fellowship, in Rochester, New York where they have been here since that time. And it has been the Lord that's been doing the work, both here and everywhere. Not only has he been a ministry to lay people, but also leadership. Not only locally here in Rochester, but internationally as evidence around all these flags around this building and our speaker even today. And it is with great honor, as I said, that I represent the alumni board, and in fact, all the membership of the Zion North Point Alumni Association in making this presentation to you today. Let's make it uh, I didn't read it yet. Wait. Bring up. <laughs> because, because we're videoing this, and be, because we can't be at the alumni gathering in September, we're, they're videoing it. So you can edit part of this, Greg. Let's move on up here. Yeah, up. You no, know, it's better up there. Come on up. No, you come. See, I got to tell this story about my wife. I went back for my third year of Bible school just at the beginning. I met my wife as soon as I got in the sanctuary. And a month later, probably, thereabouts, I asked her to marry me because I believe I had had a divine encounter when I met her. And then we decided to get married in June. We decided to get married in June. It's now probably October or so. And, uh, and uh, my wife went home for Christmas uh, because of some things that happened there. She stayed there and worked so that we could get ready to be married just uh, right after we got out of Bible school. And uh, I want my wife with me today because... You can't do 50 years of ministry without a good partner. Now, Nat, you can start whatever you want. Okay. In recognition of his 50 years of commitment to pastoral ministry in the local church and with appreciation for the dedication to the Church Universal as founder of the Life Net Apostolic Network, as well as for his great love and service on behalf of the nation of Israel, the Zion North Point Alumni Association is very pleased to name Ron Domina as our alumnus of the year. Proverbs 11.25, whosoever brings blessings will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. Presented August 23rd, 2015, Bethel Christian Fellowship, Rochester, New York. Thank you very much. They were going to present this award at a alumni gathering is it, in uh, September 25th or something like that, just the day after we're leaving for Israel. And uh, so I, I thank Nat for the honor, but I, I, wanted, uh, I, I wanted to 
had the opportunity to express to Zion for their years of dedication to raising up young men and women for the ministry, the importance of what they're doing. And this man, Mark my life and my ministry, even my wife in the short time she was there so much because he was an instructor at the time doing various things and he led a group called the Zion Corlears, a, a, a small select musical traveling group who went from church to church and state to state ministering. And I grew more probably during that experience and learn more during that experience than almost all the classroom things that I took part of. And this man is part of the reason we're here today. God bless you. I mean that because when I was youth director for New York State in the Assemblies of God, we put together for the first time ever a traveling choir. I didn't direct it or lead it, but I found somebody to do it. And it was there that some of the leaders of Bethel first heard and saw our ministry and were exposed to it and called us to candidate to become a pastor of this church. And it was because of the deposit that was made through this man in his ministry. Thank you. And my wife and I thank each of you for the privilege that we've had for third, over 35 years to be your pastor. God bless you. All right. Can't go anywhere. Where's, where's Ron, Laura, Hector? Are you right? You guys, can you guys come up here for a minute? Come, on back. come, come up here. You know, typically you get, you get awards like this towards the end of your ministry career. But that's not, that's not the case.